Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatches Night here today and we are checking out Transformers Legacy Drag Strip. Now Drag Strip is a member of the Menacer Combiner team that's Stunticons. He feels the need for speed and makes Blur his hardened rival. If something is not fast enough, it is not worth Drag Strip's time. So when we get back, we're going to take a look at Drag Strip's Deluxe Class figure. So in front of us we have Transformers Generation Legacy Deluxe Class Drag Strip, who is a member of the Stunticons and is part of the Combiner team for Minasaur. Now on the left you see the Legacy version and on the right you see the Combiner Wars G2 version. So um, before we take a closer look at uh, these guys, let's uh, take a look at the box. And it's the standard fare, here's his alt form couple pictures of his bot form this of course is a transformation the standard side and in the box is the insert the don't hurt yourself papers and the instructions so unlike the combiner wars version the legacy drag strip doesn't seem to have ready ports for the um, combining now, supposedly, the Commander Class Motor Master will have those bits, so th that's why it's a Commander Class instead of a Leader Class or a Voyager Class like previous Combiners. Anyway, uh, as you can see, they're clearly different beings altogether. Uh, they made uh, the G2 version look kind of like a Formula One car, like really like a formula car and, and this guy of course he looks like some type of hybrid vehicle of some type and we're going to put him aside here take a closer look at him and in him, in him he has like the, uh, the that big old fiery exhaust bit I don't know what it's called um, of course there's a spoiler faux spoiler in the art on the box it actually shows the red line runs up here but apparently they said you know what no one's going to see it in transformation. So let's not put a red line there. Let's save uh, a quarter of a penny. Anyway, of course, more of this uh, engine material, just a flat back. And that's why I'm like, he doesn't combine, or maybe this, this I don't know. It, it makes me curious how the com combination would work. But uh, let's see. It comes with these two. I really love the purpley black like guns. This has that metallic sheen on it. So that, that's that's pretty special it's uh I, I really dig that it's probably one of the best ones in this wave as far as color composition for a uh, weaponry it's just it is nifty i'm like are they the, it's funny they're the exact same molded gun i guess it really doesn't matter huh if i if i do this oh that is cool it's a double pistol okay so uh, all the work you need to do first involves the top half uh, because the bottom half ends up locking everything in together so step one is to straighten out his arms and rotate the uh, side panel here and uh, it, it will be picky about which way so you have to spin it forward towards you uh, then once you've done that you can slide down the second set of tires and then you can pull off the chest here. You can put his head into place here. Snaps in nicely. It's nice and flush. Uh, then you pull out the arms. See, this reminds me kind of uh, the Rodimus Prime. Uh, uh, yeah, Rodimus Prime. I was like, is it Rodimus Prime or Hot Rod I'm thinking of? Maybe both. Who knows? Uh, anyway, snap this stuff together. Line it all up. And um, you'll see, uh, it's just you see how it fits together. So you have to play with it a little bit. Uh, once you get it, and it's snapped in, and then you turn this 180 degrees. And you, there's this double joint here. You got to pull back. And then it closes and pegs into the arms. Okay, so now that we've done that, we got to get to the... Uh, next part which is move the feet back they'll snap into place here and then there is these panels you pull them up 
and as you would you would fold in the legs but first before we do that we're going to do 180 degrees on the waist and then start folding in the legs now i feel like it might be easier if i attach them now let's see if it is or maybe not there we go that way everything folds in evenly uh they'll go into these gaps up here this is again why you need this to be last and just you know start snapping things in ends up getting a little in there there we go and then of course put these guns on so there's no way to put these on in vehicle mode like this oh that would be so cool like if you booster or something anyway uh just throw them on here and voila there we go he rolls fine but or i should i would say ideally he would roll fine but he's like flush like the surface is flush like the tires have very little clearance and i'm trying to see if maybe there's something i can do to they're te you can see you can't really see because they're as you but you could probably see the wobble a little bit um I don't know. It looks good. Uh, is, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I mean, obviously it's the back of his head, but what is it supposed to be like a canopy or like the place where the driver sits? But I feel like the whole place would be open up. And then the exhaust pipes are here, so that makes no sense to me either. But uh, hey, whatever. So when we get back, we're going to compare them to the G2's uh, Ultiform. So here they are transformed, and you can see clearly the inspiration in his mode, of course, is more Formula One, and this is kind of just cartoon accurate, you know? So you can see that there is really no like comparison. They are just truly different characters. Uh, <laughs> at least on the bottom of him, you can tell he is a bot. Uh, it's not so clear on the Legacy version. And, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's how we're going to compare them for these guys. I originally wasn't going to get Drag Strip because I didn't want to start another combiner. I mean, plus I already have the G2 Minotaur. But when I learned that Motormaster had all of the parts and they weren't really individually combiners, I was like, well, okay. Plus, Wave 1 was two Decepticons, two Autobots on the Deluxe class. And then the Voyagers were also two Autobots. I was like, well, this is a kind of an odd number here. So I figured, okay, you know what? I'll get Drag Strip. Plus, again, I only have the G2 colorization from Combiner Wars. So what the heck? And I, I don't regret it. He looks pretty good. I kind of wish he wasn't so close to the ground because it, it makes his tires almost ineffective. I might as well just be pushing him down a snowy hill as a sled. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you are picking this guy up. Are you picking up all of the uh, combiner parts for Menasaur? Or are you just picking and choosing what you want? My understanding is that uh, all the parts won't be all G1 tributes. Some of them will be for other series. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know where else Menasaur has appeared. But I guess it's somewhere. Probably Unicron. I don't know. You tell me. But uh, thank you for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe.